how plants grow. A seed has a tough outer covering called seed coat. The seed coat protects the seed from damage. The seed coat has a tiny hole through which the seed gets water. A seed has a small baby plant inside it. A seed has two seed leaves. Seed leaves, also called cotyledons, store food for the baby plant. When a seed gets the right amount of air, water and warmth, it starts growing into a new plant. The process by which a seed grows into a new plant is called germination. New plants are also called seedlings. Once a seed starts germinating, first the root comes out and then the shoot comes out. During the early stages of germination, the seedling gets food needed for its growth from the seed leaves. Soon, green leaves grow out from the seedling which enable to the seedling to make its own food. Once the food stored in the seed leaves is used up, they dry and fall off. The seedling absorbs water and nutrients from the soil using its roots and grows into a new plant. Dispersal of Seeds If many seeds grow too close to one another, the new plants will struggle for air, water, sunlight, nutrients and even space to grow. Many of them would die. Thus, seeds need to be scattered away from the mother plant so that the new plants do not grow too close to one another. The process by which the seeds are scattered away from the mother plant is called dispersal of seeds. There are many ways in which seeds get dispersed. Dispersal by wind. Seeds of certain plants are very light. Some of these also have wings or hair on them. These seeds are easily flown away by the wind to different places. Dispersal by animals. Animals and human beings eat fruits of many plants and throw away the seeds, thus scattering them away from the mother plant. Some seeds are sticky or have hooks, which help them to get stuck to birds and animals. These seeds fall off later at a different place when the animal scratches itself or rubs against something. Seeds of cochlebur and blackberries are common examples of such seeds. Dispersal by water. Seeds of some plants can float on water. They are spongy or have a fibrous covering. They are carried by water from one place to another. Coconut and lotus seeds are common examples. Dispersal by explosion. Fruits of peas and beans burst open when ripe, scattering the seeds in all directions. This is how seed dispersed by explosion. Stems that can grow into new plants. Potato and onion are stems from which new plants can grow. Plants like rose, hibiscus and sugarcane can grow into a new plant from a stem cutting of the mother plant. Leaves that can grow into new plants. Young plants can grow from birds that grow on the edges of briofilum leaves. These birds can drop off from the leaves and grow into new plants. Agriculture Plants are very useful to human beings. We obtain food, clothes and medicines from plants. Crops grown from June to October are known as kharif crops. These crops depend largely on the monsoon rains. Examples are rice, millet, spadra and maize. Crops grown from November to April are called rabi crops. These crops do not depend on the monsoon rains. Examples are wheat and beans. Thanks for watching.